All right, Michael, this one's going on the road. Okay. Right there, right? That's good. Super looking. You look tall. Well, you cannot hit the ball much better than that. Yep. Right there? That's good. Just a little, little more. Look here. A little more rotation of the hand, the reason all the, in the elbow joint so it comes up this way instead of going through with the thumb dragging behind, okay? Okay. Now that ball will turn in to the left. That ball, that's as hard as I can hit a ball. You, anytime you interfere with the pendulum, it's like interfering with a bullet after it left the barrel. A bullet in the barrel is, has friction with the walls, the internal walls of the barrel of that gun. As soon as it comes out, it picks up speed. So let that ball come off that face, pick up 40% speed. Mm. See, your head is staying back of your navel now, your center of gravity, right? Right. There's a center of gravity and a swing circle center, two things. Center of gravity is the navel, center of the swing circle is the seventh cervical. Okay. Watch your club. Watch your club. Look at No. Not here. There. I got to get over there. Yeah. It's got to get, look here. That's on the inside of the arm. This is the outside. I do that, and it'll never go right. But keep that center of gravity moving, and then right hip swinging around the left hip. Now you can't hit it much harder than that. Huh? Yeah. See, that's a perfect swing. Huh? All the energy is on the head of the club. Right there? Yes. You think about hitting that ground, that son of a gun a gun like a scared rabbit and hits that ground. Yeah, that was a little bit, but it was, you know, it was a, it was a straight shot. Okay. Yeah. Does that look all right? Excellent. Set up okay. Yeah. Now your, your arms okay. cut in uh, here. Now I came arms out. cut in. Instead of going instead up. Of arms cut. Look here. Out and up, not down and in. Okay. All but right. make the club come inside over here. Look here. I'm bringing the club in. My arm is going out, and this is coming in. Mm-hmm. Out with the ball. Out the arms toward the ball. Bring the right thumb over the left thumb on as the arm is coming up. Now you you held the back. Now see, look, look. Yeah. On the back swing, my left arm is behind my chin. Uh -huh. My chin is behind the arm. On the fourth swing, my chin is behind my arm. It is in the head of the arm. See, you have a tendency to get your chin here. I don't want to be like that, right? No. Don't turn it. That's it. But keep this going. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. I got it. You will hit it solid. Forward press. Right. Reverse. Hit. One, two, three. Shoulder's got to follow the hip and thigh and knee. The hip and thigh, it did, it followed. Now your head is back this way, it didn't. Look here. Mm -hmm. Look here. Your head is this way. I hit that ball well. I'm going to hold your left arm from dropping. Okay, the swing. See, you're letting it drop a little bit. Okay. And it, 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 it throws that shoulder up and let him drop. So I'm dropping it? Yeah. Instead of... Elevate, keeping it up? Yeah. 
See it turning up with the left shoulder, Plop, like a... A little bit of that. Yeah. Need more left, up. Yeah. Okay. All right. And you'll drive it a lot better this way. Carry farther. That's mm. a higher left arm. Yeah. What? Huh? That ball's smashed. See? This... The swing of this club like this will, well, I want to pull it this way instead of you pulling it this way. You understand? Mm -hmm. You're coming out and up. You sometimes you want to come down and left shoulder. Mm -hmm. This one goes that way. See, I'm going this way. I, I keep the, the hand coming on the plane from the shoulder out to the ball here. Now don't let it drop down underneath the left shoulder. Okay? All right. That's right. That that shoulder's coming under here like this, and you got a plane with your right arm to the ball like this, and a plane from the left arm to the ball like that, look. I'm coming up here with my with arms in that mode, not that mode. So I'm coming up, and this is working inside. Yeah, yeah. after you cross over, it comes inside, you see, not, if you get it in too rapid, you hook, you know. Yeah, because your body won't move over? Yeah. Got to set up that post. The post, the lower, lower half, of your, your leg is the lower half of your spine, okay? The left leg. Get it over there. That's lock. That, my friend, you got over. Huh? Understand? Look here. The left leg is the lower half of my spine. And then this. Yeah, and then that comes under, you see? But unless you get it over there, it is no longer the lower half. You see? Now look, look here. Mm-hmm. I'm, sure. get, I'm not quite getting it over. You weren't on uh, the one of before. The other one is okay. That one is super. Okay. You got to set up that post and swing up. You All see? right. I shift the left, right foot and swing up. I shift over the left foot and swing up. Okay. That is solid, man. Mm. Huh? I wore that out. Huh? That's just. You take the paint off the ball, hit it like that. That looks a little better. Sure, it's coming this way. Look, it allows you, if you get over here, where that, see, I got like, like a spine here. I don't have a spine that way, do I? Mm-hmm. So now this allows this, this allows this shoulder to come under here, and I got a lower deck hitting it this way and an upper deck hitting it that way. This upper deck, lower deck. Understand? I thought I do. Now, that time I just didn't move over at all, did well, I? They... I'm going to show you how to control the hook and the slices by the action of the hand and forearm. Okay. If I go back and I came here like this, and I'm swinging the shaft the same speed, as I want to with a full shot, but I want to slice, I don't turn that toe past that shaft. It's coming in slightly open, that causes a spin from left to right, understand? Mm -hmm. But now if I wanted to hook the ball, I increase this so the toe gets in front of the shaft and it puts a spin from right to left. Closes down a little bit? Yes, it does. It, but see, you're coming this way. You're not trying to hit that way. Your, your, your shoulders have got to stay on this plane. You're not coming on that plane, see? Mm -hmm. So when you come in here and you want to slice the ball, I'm not going to do it with the shoulders. I'm going to do it with the hands. Mm -hmm. And that means a slow, slowing down, I'm slowing down the spin of the club. The spin of the club. Now if I increase it, the toe got there, and the angle of incident caused it to go left. Right. So, we're here, now that's straight, mm -hmm. and that's slice, mm -hmm. and that's hooked. Okay. okay. So... Could you explain the straight again? Huh? Straight, slight hook. A straight. Mm -hmm. Now this is slice, mm -hmm. and this is hook. Mm -hmm. Now I've increased the roll, 
Now, if I want a big hook, you do it more. If you want a mid medium hook, you do it a little slower. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm not trying to stand here with a block out and my, my body will stop there and the hands will go. That's a crutch. Mm -hmm. And you don't ever know how much you're going to get. But if you control this, you know how much you're going to get. Hmm. Understand? Mm -hmm. You control this. You see, you're swinging the shaft between your shoulders and the ball on the plane, all right? Right. Now, as you go back, the club opens up 90 degrees so you can swing it on the oblique plane. Mm -hmm. Now, you come down here like this. Now, how fast you turn that arm over determines where you slice it or hook it. You turn the arm down that slice it. That's hooking it. That's slicing it. You got to feel like when you're going to slice it that that thumb let me show you something. It's in that position. It's behind the club, slightly behind. Understand? Watch, watch this. I'm going to hit it. It'll make it slice. Look. Okay. That neck leg I can't do anything with, but look. One. I'm going to hit it like that. Okay. And watch it slice. Yeah. Huh? Cut. Now, if I, if I increase the spin of this, the toe gets there before the heel or the shaft, you see? Makes it close down quicker? Makes makes it wrap around the ball, putting the spin from right to left. So I'm going to spin it a little bit. I, I topped that here, but if you see it's trying to hook, right? Mm hmm I can't move off that leg. So if I can't move, that shoulder can't come under. I'm just happy to do it with my hands and arm. Okay? It's hooking. Okay. Huh. huh. Mm -hmm. You so hit a couple of shots? So I'm, I'm not doing it with the shoulders and body. I'm doing it with the hands. It's the last medium between your brains. Right, Nanny Club? Mm-hmm. The hands. The last thing touching that club, right? Slice. Slave. Mm-hmm. Hook. Hook, right. But going, in, going over on the foot. Yeah, otherwise you dug it. All right? This is a slice shot with a toe slightly behind the heel at impact. Now, when you're trying to protect the left side of the fairway, I aim for the left side right. and, and leave it open. You see, it'll come into the center. You understand? Okay, another, another I, never, I never hit for the center of the fairway. I hit for the the side of the fairway that gives me the most advantage. That's trying to hook. Did you try to hook it? No. Cut it. You know, it's, it went straight. No, it cut. It did? Yeah. All right. Cut it again. Okay. Slow down the roll. Yeah? Right? Mm-hmm. Now a little hook. Yeah. A little hook, and it won't go as quite as high this time. Okay. Now she's hooking into that wind. That's a beautiful hook. That's a controllable hook. You understand? Mm -hmm. When you switch yourself in a block out like this, your arms stop right there. You do, you have no control. Super. Fade. And the, the toe follows the heel. Yeah, I'm coming slightly. in where the toe doesn't get in front of the heel. No. Little bitty fade. Yeah. One more fade. He's, he's got to strengthen up his left thumb a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Now a hook. Now we increase huh? the spin of the club. Free. Yeah, it's just a nice high draw. Mm -hmm. I like to really let my left hand feel relaxed when I try to draw it. Well, you got it. If you lock up that forearm, you can't do it. I'm sorry. That is beautiful action, you know. Okay. 
Huh? One more little draw. Okay. Now I want you to hit the high boy. This is like a real high, super high shot with a, like a full swing with a five iron. Instead of letting the hands do that, they're coming like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. Like that. That. The yeah. ball just goes forever high. You see, you're blocked out with high trees. You got some distance to go. And you can get it high and get distance this way. Because mm. you're not slowing it down, you're hitting it. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit forward. Yeah. That's called the high boy. It is really high. <laughs> All right, now we're going to hit the low boy, OK? Now, the, that is hitting the ball. You play it back at the center line. Lean the club forward like this. OK. I'll get in front of that thing. Now, I'm playing the ball back like, like that. And the club is like this. You know, it's more so than would be in the normal stance. Mm -hmm. You've got an abnormal lead. Mm -hmm. And you come in here, you hit it the same way. But that hand is like that when you hit the ball. It's like that you smother it. You must have the thumb behind the shaft when you hit the ball with this okay. action. Because you're, you're addressing it with the, what we call a strong left hand grip, OK? Like that. And that way, the right hand works more like that, yeah. right? OK. But you're huh. coming down. You're not. And you, you're going to hit this ball. And let me show you something. Hold that thumb behind it. Now come into the ball. Come into the ball. Now keep the thumb behind it. Now you're coming. That club is staying below the below the hands, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It comes up this way, it goes up. Okay. That way. Right. But it, it has to go back to here. You've got to get, get the thumb. Yeah. And don't let it come in here, okay? Okay. Let's see, take it back. Low shot now. That's it, like that. And you won't finish. You won't finish the round. Do you understand? Mm hmm Because you haven't let the left thumb go. That's a low shot. Understand? You got it underneath the tree. If you let it go this way, it's up into the tree. So you didn't let didn't let this do this, did you? Uh uh. Huh? The perfect shot. It's coming. I'm sorry. Did I get in the way? Hit another one. This is a low boy. Okay. Okay. That's super. That'll work. Huh? Okay. Now you had the high boy, you had the low boy, you had the hook, and you had the slice. You know what you can take off in a round of golf with that? A minimum of four strokes. Mm hmm You see? You could par every hole if you can do this. Put you out of the out of trouble, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll shoot a birdie on it. Now, I want you to play it in a normal position and let the normal reaction to see the difference between a low and high. This will be a middle range height. Now this go ahead, you're gonna let everything work now. That's a middle range height right there. Mm. Understand? So you're walking up the stairway. You can go up, but you can come down. You can go around the stairway. But this is where you play a course. If you get in trouble, you can get out if you have the number of shots that we're trying to explain here. See, that's a medium height shot. So that's good rhythm. Good balance and good timing and good control of the plane and the blade, the face of the club, okay? See those things, they have the same angle of incline 
in the same speed of incline. They're not a bunch of illegitimate <laughs> children. They belong to the same family. No, so you got outside a little bit. Yeah, you know, got over. Got outside with the shoulder here. Yeah. You got to come this way. Right. Your shoulder got hit one more. Huh? Hit one more. Okay. That's right down the middle. Yeah, yeah. that'll work. That's perfect. Now, can you feel now that this is like a, a whole spine? That leg is a continuation of. Of right the there. spine, yeah. okay? Yeah, it's impossible to stay underneath if this thing's low. Yeah. There? Ain't no way to do that. No. Hmm. Right, hmm. yeah. And don't let your head turn with the shoulders. I'm I'm holding my chin to the arm, get there, and hold it to there, and then, then let it go. Now let it go. Let it go now. Okay, uh -huh. get, hit it more solid when you do that. Okay. Where did Bruce go? <clears throat> That's right. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I want to do something. Hold it. Hold it. No, hold the position. Right. Hold it. Hold this position right here. You see, instead of your, your head being there, it's right there. Okay. And now the, this shoulder is going to turn your head to face the target. Now you're, you're, you're letting your head turn. Turn the... I know what you're prior. saying. Okay. I'm letting it do that. And this should be bringing me. Yeah, it should go to horizontal before the head comes out of the angle of address. Okay. That's what I'd like to hold it, man. Hold it, hold it. Now try to turn your head back to the right. Huh? Okay. You could turn it 140 degrees that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. See, this is a nut. The head is a nut that keeps the hub on the axle. Understand? Mm -hmm. Let the head turn, wheel comes off. Keep the chin still. Good. That is super. I mean, that looks so much better, doesn't it? Your CG now is out here instead of the head out there. Understand? Mm hmm. That's the son of gravity, the public, the public, you know, the belly button, okay? That's the way. Now you get, if you think that isn't a beautiful swing, you got another thing coming. That is precision this way, understand? Mm-hmm. That is, this is all I want, Michael. I do not want the chin to turn with the shoulders until they come out of their full. Did I turn them that time? No, sir. I didn't do what you wanted me to? You did what I wanted you to do. Very good. That. Super. Now, you understand now your head is back of this. But if you let it go this way, you're you like that. Yeah, I, I got to be like that. Yeah, you got to keep your chin back. She, keep it on the center line. Let the right arm get horizontal before the chin moves. That right shoulder comes under and against. That look here, right here. That shoulder catch that jaw, right? You can't swing much better. That is perfect. I felt good. The rhythm is good. One, two, three. Okay. That whole right side, the, from the crease between your shoulder blades to the crease between your buns, are coming underneath the spine. Okay. Hit chin is staying there until the right arm gets horizontal to the ground. Okay. Boy, this looks good. Hmm? I know you didn't hit it on the sweet spot, but it was a good good swing. Do you understand? Okay. It doesn't look rigid. No, it does not. It looks fluid. Supple quickness. Boom. 
Huh. Well, that was easy. Huh. See, if when you do this, that's trying to add something that's, that that is taken away from you. Yeah, it just seems like when I, my best swings, are, I don't even feel my shoulders. I mean, at all. Yeah. They just kind of follow my. You know, like we talked about. that club shaft. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, then, then it gets ahead after you hit the ball, you know, and then it pulls the right side. That's a, that's a doozy. Now take it through the thing in slow motion. Okay. You don't have to hit the ball. I want you to Hang do it. Ball. No, I don't want you to hit okay. the ball. Huh? In slow motion. Now we're going in very slow motion. Okay. No, no, no. I don't want a ball. I want to hit it. Slow motion. Now very slow. Very. Let the knee come on in. Let it come on in. Let it come on in. All right, now start down. Shift it. Left it. Pick up the right. Pick up. Pick up. Bend the knee. Bend the right knee. Bend the. Yeah. Cross the hand over now. Now you come up. Now come up. Now let the hands go on through. Excellent. Michael, I want you to swing one handed, left handed at this next shot. Now, you see, there was no pull there, right? Mm -mm. Good? Just my arm moves with, with everything. Yeah. Oh. That's right. Huh. Now hit it left hand, right handed. No, sir. You got here and you pull it with the peck like that. You got to keep this arm this way and let it come in like that off the side, not off the front. Let the hip and knee pull the shoulder. You're trying to shove the shoulder into the ball. Go ahead. Let the hip follow. Now, now your shoulder follow the knee and hip. Understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the ones you miss, you tried to pull this arm in with your peck. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving it here and turning. Shifting and turning, uncocking the hands, elbows. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's see you sweep. Huh? What else you want? You, know, I want to see you do that, and it seems like feel like you're throwing an underhand throw, under, underneath, out and up. Yes. But you got to keep the knee and the thigh and the hip moving. What's well, amazing how far you can hit that ball if you look. Keep that body going, right? Yeah. If you get like this, you can't do it. No. It's like a pitcher. A pitcher stays here, and he's coming around here like this. He doesn't come this way to, to do it. He, his arm is coming there, and then he does that, you know? Mm-hmm. But he don't, he don't do it this way. That is because the shift in the turn of the torso mm -hmm. through the legs, feeding that torso movement, okay? Let me see you do it that way. <laughs> I went ice skating, and I had to go up to Modesto to play in a tournament, and I'm chasing this champion ice skater. And the guy blocked me, and I, I clipped over him. I'm headed with my head. I turned my head, and I hit the shoulder, and my shoulder was as big as my head. And I, I was so sore. I went up and played, and I had to finish up playing one-handed. And I tied the tournament. I believe it. That's amazing principle. So this is great practice here. Just yeah. Just played it with one hand. My left left shoulder was jammed and it was swollen full of water mm -hmm. i just played it with the right hand michael show me extension of your right ankle now show me flexion all right put the foot down and show me eversion now show me inversion okay now show me flexion of the right knee flexion of the right knee oh okay and extension of the right knee okay all right now show me flexion of the right hip 
Now, back to there. Now, show me now, pull a right knee into extension, it'll, it'll have like a straight that. knee, you see? Yeah, like, like that. Yeah, so you're taking out the flexion when you're going to that position of the hip. Yeah, I'm extending the knee, but my ankle's like an E version. Yeah, and it, it, that lets the knee swing in with, inward and mm -hmm. out, you see? Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, do it, do the exercise that we do with the, with the club behind you and do the hip and knee and all to get back like that. Like now, do it. Now, make the shoulder go. See, it gives you a central head position and all the body and knee and ankle action that is necessary to maintain balance without doing any arm to the different joints. We have six different types of joints and they have to f function according to their design. If you go against the function of their design, you wind up with epicondylitis, bursitis, arthritis, and all kind of itises. <laughs> but if you work with those joints as they are designed, you have no problems with them. Mm -hmm. And I'm showing you how to work the joints so it lessens the possibility of you injuring any joint during a golf game, okay? Yeah, this gives you tremendous support, doesn't it? It does. For your head and stuff. As long as your head's between your feet, you're never gonna lose your balance, are you? No. Once it moves. You have no balance. You have no balance. Right. That's why, this is very similar to a walk, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's similar to a walk, but you're doing lineal. You see, you're doing, yeah. Hmm. That's right. Okay. Don't let your chin go with the shoulders. Let the shoulders catch up to the chin, right? Okay. I got into a habit of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. This will give you the nth degree of precision. Okay. Okay. Now, you have any questions or that you want to answer? No. It's just, you know, when we're when you're working on pieces of it, like on the driving range, yeah. and like uh, the several different aspects today, the driving range is the place to do that. This is why we went into this today. Tomorrow, we're going to hit. We're not going to think about these component parts. Mm-hmm. But component parts, I mean... Are necessary to learn to develop a train reflux pattern. To, to blend them all together. All right. Right. Okay, yeah. Now, yeah. what is tempo? What are you trying to do when you're tempo? Your knees and hips, right? Mm-hmm. Now do that forward press, reverse that. And that's okay. all you're counting now. And the One, other two, two three. three. And you're letting this boom! Yeah, it gives you... It's amazing. I love your analogy. It gives your feet something to do. All right. One, two, three. See, everybody's trying to st stick there and stick themselves into the ground. One, you can't do anything two, if you do. Three. That's right. So it's a ro it's a waltz tempo, mm. not a box mm. trot, you know. Right. And it also keeps your shoulders from getting in there. <laughs> yeah. Shoulder. I mean, it, I, I just can't say how much how much better it feels when you set it and retreat, and then your shoulders are just following your hips and just following the and shaft in, in the club head. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now all the slack is out from every joint at the top of the backswing. When you shift, everything comes together. Then as you shift, you start accent accentuating the shaft or accelerating the shaft by uncocking the hands, especially the right hand, I mean the left hand. And while you're doing that, if you if you put your left hand on the club, take mm -hmm. it to the top. Now, if you if you take this right hand and spin it against that thumb and watch that club uncock, okay. that, you see you're doing that. But that's got to be accompanied with the If you shift. don't, you'll uncock before you get to the ball. Mm -hmm. But it takes you from up there to there to catch it with this movement below. Yeah, that's the timing aspect yeah. of it. It's so not like one, a robot. No. It's... Okay. Mm. Yeah, like you like you told that story about the little red rug, mm -hmm. your little red mm -hmm. coat, and mm -hmm. just sit there and yeah, beat that rug. Yeah, don't stop your body though. <laughs> yeah, well that rug is yeah, <laughs> boom with the left arm and never get dirty. Right? Yeah, now after that, it you're already going into the wall. It's going to stop. It's not going to hit the wall. You understand? That's good. Uh huh. Yeah. Now you don't feel any aches or pains from the motion we've made today, do you? No, they're all, it's all natural. It's the way you're designed to hit a ball. You know, every joint's working the way it's designed to. Like gotcha. the knees, they're not doing this. 
That's no, I'm not sitting here trying to hunt a hundred miles an hour worth of force, trying to hold it. I'm letting it increase. Go. Yeah. We're not sumo wrestlers. We're not trying to put our opponent outside that circle. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're uh -uh. trying to make the club go around the circle, right? Mm-hmm. On the oblique plane, not horizontal, not vertical, okay? Mm-hmm. So people knows which plane, show them the oblique plane. Okay. Yeah. You know well, what? here's the horizontal. Yeah. Here's the vertical. Yes. And here's the oblique plane. Right yeah. there. Yes. Which would be right from the ball to the neck. From the ball to the neck along that line, right? Yeah. Right there. If you ever think of this line in the golf swing, you're going to come outside in. It, your shoulders will not work under and out, but come in at this line. What do you mean? If you try to swing down this line. Oh, the straight line? Yeah. Yeah, your flight line, which would be the straight line, once you establish that in your address position, in your aim, then you never have another straight line. No, that's right. Because you're dealing with planes and arcs. Right. Yeah. That's incredible, because really, if you did, it'd be like that, wouldn't yes. it? Trying to keep it along. And actually, I'm going, yeah. I'm out a little yeah. bit. And then the closing motion brings me around, right? Yeah. The turning motion. Right. 